Bianca scratched Atticus's back. Oh, it's, it says Atticus. That spot is always hard to reach. Atticus scratched away. Get a back scratch, Atticus. Valdam people, they need a back scratcher. I think we market them, said Atticus. I think we market everything, said Bianca. Now put your shirt back on, hunk. Atticus put his shirt back on. Now looked out the window. Here they come. The Bradbury's came in. Archer and Crimson Bradbury with their son, Xavier. A teenage rugby union player of quite quite accomplished skill. The Bradbury's were well established in the Arendelle Forthright community. Well known. They'd been around in the community for a long time. A large family, one of the clans practically of the area. They were well known and well established and sort of not quite crust as it were, the upper crust of the community, but the salt of the earth of the Arendelle Forthright community. Xavier had ambitions of being a long-term road player in the local Arendelle Forthright competition. Bianca had arranged advertising for Valdan and some local websites, offering scholarships into the Valdan organisation from suitable local sports people, and the Bradbury's had applied. When they arrived, Bianca and Atticus discussed with the Bradbury's that Xavier would be entering into an organisation with deep and ancient roots, which committed to local areas and communities which it entered into. Xavier would become part of the Universal Val Dan organisation, with opportunities as well as responsibilities of decent conduct to keep the good name of the Val Dan organisation. Bianca and Atticus discussed with them the values of Val Dan, and the Val Dan people had a way of life that they sh- maintained to agree, with certain Rainbow Tour requirements which generally had to be met. It was not a requirement to be a Noahide. There was there were principles from the faith which uh, a Valdan member had to abide by. And as they discussed with the Bradbury's, the Bradbury's acknowledged that and said they kept biblical sort of faith to a certain extent anyway. The discussion flowed well and after a while Bianca took Xavier aside to chat with him privately. Xavier talked how there was a big world out there and he was young and the world was big as what he'd noticed and scary and he felt that he should really probably follow his parents' advice to find some security in life. Bianca spoke to him that it was quite a decision and vowed down values and takes the employees and representatives seriously. It will be a change in lifestyle, said Bianca. Xavier. We are an organisation which has endured and we move the times and get something out of life. It's not really just a ho-hum existence in Valdan, Xavier. There's a lot more going on with it than that. Xavier saw the point and felt the organisation was probably going to be his future. Bianca commented that hopefully it will all work out. The Bradbury's left after that and Bianca sat with Atticus reflecting how people can often get into deep water in life and not always know the best decisions to make. Xavier was confronting something which was potentially quite quite a life changer and he probably need time. And the consideration con- clauses in the contracts took care of that issue. Experience helps you, says Atticus. Experience in life helps you to make the best decisions. And you can't put a old head on young shoulders, no matter what you do. Don't I know, said Bianca. Wish I'd known that when I was 15.